going down. Yukari Nakano. And she'll be trying to top Fumie Sigori's score of 58.56 to take the lead in this short. I love the beginning of this short program. She seems to me like she's telling a story. It just seems sort of to capture your attention right from the beginning. Starting off with the triple X double toe loop combination, same as Fumier. Now, great height, good speed. Yeah. Nice landing on that, but you know, the jump is very much wrapped, meaning the free leg, the assisting leg, is wrapped around the, the land landing leg, and it's not very attractive. Here, the triple flip jump. Again, very wrapped. And it's interesting, because she doesn't do that on all of the jumps, but on these two, it's, uh, it, to me, it's not an attractive look, and I think it's harder to control the jump. She has very nice fast spins, using the edges outside on the camel and inside on the sit spin, gaining points with that. Kari is 21 years old, also from Tokyo. She looks very relaxed and difficult move there on the spiral sequence, going from the inside to the outside edge while holding her blade. Yukari is coached by Nobuo Sato, the father of Yuka, who we've had here throughout the program. Showing great flexibility there. the soundtrack by Boston John Williams of Memories of a Geisha. Here's her straight line sequence. Again, you can hear the change of the music, sort of continuing to tell the story, it seems to me. I don't know if that's her plan, but it, it just seems very captivating, the music having a change like that, not staying with the slow throughout involved, builds the energy. Spread eagle into double axle. It's a nice, nice move. I used to do that and I remember not many people did. It makes it very interesting for people to watch. Very nice position on her flying camel. And I used to say, Oksana Bayul did this and if you can't do it as well, if not better, don't do it. <laughs> she does it very well. I enjoy Yukari skating very much. The only thing I, I can say I don't like is that wrap and the, and the jumps, but um, you know, they're very high and they look controlled, so it's very exciting. Like this triple X, see that free leg wrapped right around her thigh, but yet it's high and she lands with a lot of strength and speed and a nice position on that landing. Look at the smile I was talking about. She looked like she was just having a great time. I think this was a very good short program for her. And here, nice height on the jump. A little variation on the landing there. She looks really happy with that. She needs a score of 58.57 to move past Sugori, and she does that with a personal best, in fact, in the short program at 